Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpa One coming to you on Tuesday, August the 1st. And the year is 2023. Let's talk trading. Monthly open with Walmart. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart's. And since it's the beginning of the month, I'm going to remind you once again, always have your risk management employed. Never lose more than you're willing to lose on any one single trade. So we're talking about the monthly open and we are almost 59 pips below. We are 59 pips below the monthly open sitting at 127.75, which is a psychological level. Um, and we are 20 off the low, monthly low and 65 off the monthly high. So far this week, we filled all the uh, open gaps and we broke below <clears throat> the weekly opening range and we're putting in the monthly opening range as I speak. For the year, 686 pips above the open, 367 off the high, 973 off the low, coming back down towards that yearly midpoint at 2471. And we're 303 pips away from that. Inside bar yesterday, we broke through it at 128.27, 52 pips below that. The weekly inside bar from two weeks ago, uh, at 20 or 128.15, we broke below that. We are now about 40 pips below. As you can see here, we had a lot of inside bars because yesterday, the last day of the month, for some reason, was a nothing burger, as Walmart likes to say. <laughs> yep, it was. <laughs> yeah. We've got 85 pip range right now. Um, as you can see, we've got, a, let's see, one, two, three pairs over... 200 pips with the um, pound Australian dollar leading the pack with 271 pips. And I see my dollar yen is sneaking back up towards that uh, 144 mark. So right now it's at 143.21. Uh, buy zone traders were uh, rewarded, especially if they went short. We are way below the uh, weekly open. Green rats, you're being rewarded right now. And I'm kicking myself because I wanted to jump back in in the, in the 60s. But that's what happens when I need to make videos. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny. And we are... Yeah, it's, yeah go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, and, and the reality is that you know, it's one of your rules, and I think it's a good rule that when you're making a video, you, you're not sitting there trying to trade at the same time because you can become distracted. So you can get yourself into a lot of trouble that way. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Unless you, specific, unless you specifically set up that I'm making a video of me trading. Right. And uh, just a couple things of note. One of the reasons... Um, I wanted to stay long was because there's this missed H4 pivot at 127.83, and that's for this current H4, so I wanted to trade towards that pivot. And um, a couple of days ago, I don't know, even, even maybe more than that, this missed pivot at 127.97, I had called that out, and we took that pivot out uh, in the last four hours. So... Um, I know there was a couple traders wondering why I take certain trades. A lot of times it's just simply playing H4 wick zones and heading towards those H4 pivots. And speaking of pivots, we have not hit today's pivot. We missed it by about four pips. And on the week, we took out the weekly pivot. And today's monthly pivot, 128, or this month's pivot, I should say, is at 128.77, which is above the uh, 128.44 daily pivot.
um, in and out of the upper and lower wick zones. You can see uh, yesterday was almost a doji. Was it a doji on your broker, Walmart? Um, let me go check. I don't have that chart up. Uh, take me two seconds here. Uh, no, it was not, but it was it was close. Yeah. Now and it was like a five pit body. Yeah. Um, let's see. We are talking about the uh, month, so let me switch time frames here on the range chart. Last month, we put in 484 pips of range, which was at the 41 percentile. Um, we did not break out of the previous high. Oh, let me see. I'm sorry. We did break out of the previous high. I was looking at the zero. I should be looking one month ago. 294 pips above. That was 83 percentile. But we did not break out of the previous monthly low. And for high minus close for the uh, Red Rat, 68 pips. So far today, last month, 308. And for close minus low for the Green Rats, 176. Uh, buy zone traders, 454. Um, was there from high minus the open? And 30 pips for the open minus the low. So once again, horizontal line traders were rewarded. And let's see. And if we look at the chart, um, we extended the uh, range from the year by almost 300 pips. We clocked in at uh, 1,340 pip year-to-date accumulated range. And once again, if we just look at range by month, we had 484, which was four pips above June, but two pips below February. So that was the fourth biggest month so far this year. And it seems you know, like... One, you go ahead. One, one thing that's really interesting is if you... I, on my uh, chart, I carry it out for 12 months so I can see what it's done. Not basically a calendar year, but one full year right. uh, from where I am to back. And the interesting thing is that a year ago at this time, we were running ranges for the month of 1,400, 1,000, uh, 700, you know, 600, pretty consistently. And But oh, this year, this physical year, or actual year, you know, we've been running pretty low, half of those type of ranges. So it's kind of interesting just to see, you know, what we were doing a year ago as opposed to what we've done this current year. Yeah. And, uh, and that will affect the way you trade. Yeah, definitely, because I'm looking at the uh, AT, monthly ATR percent, um, which is range over the ATR. And we're at 77% for July, but as you were saying, last July we were at 102. Last June we were at 145, and last September we were 246. You know, last August we were 141, so and that's ATR 14 if you're wondering which ATR I'm using. Um, I'm pretty sure it's ATR 14. Yeah, so what that tells me is that if you're a swing yeah. trader, you got to, you know, under current market condition, you need to be sitting there and recognizing the fact that, you know, maybe last year you were able to go and say, hey, you know, my logical point of getting out of a trade is somewhere around, you know, 70, 80, 100 pips, something like that. And now you got to start saying, well, that was good when it was 600 to 1,000 pip or even 1,400 pip range, but now... That's probably not as realistic. Now, you may eventually go and get that whopper of a trade that goes and breaks this trend, you know, of what's going on. But, you know, I, I always go and say, trade what you see, not what you think is going to happen, but trade what you see happening. And right now what I see happening is that our months are getting very, very tight. And because they're very, very tight, maybe you tighten up what you're, tighten up what you can actually make. The good thing is that, the converse of that is also true. You can also set your stops pretty. Uh, you can actually cut down on your on the amount that you're setting your stop up because if it's not running for you that much, it also can't run that much against you. 
right. or at least most likely it's not going to. Yeah. And so uh, when we closed July, um, if you had bought the, the yearly open, you had been up 6.16% for the month. And let's just take a look here at the month. As you can see, we popped out of that monthly, uh, pr previous month's upper wick zone. So right now, we're between wick zones. It says sellers have strong control. We're below the midpoint. We're below the pivot. And right now, the current month is an inside bar. So looking at some trading charts, higher, low, lower, high, you can see we're moving up. And um, earlier before the trade, you can see right here what what I was looking at was, whoops, why did it do that? This midpoint line between from three ball to three ball was at 127.67. I wanted that's where I wanted to re-enter my trade, but I missed it. And as you can see, that'd be worth almost uh, 10 pips, or would have been had been worth more <laughs> as prices dipped back down and came back up. Walmart, you still there? <laughs> I am still here. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there something you wanted to tell the uh, boys and girls and non-binary traders out there? <laughs> I don't recall, to be honest with you. Oh. <laughs> Um, but at the same time, you know, it, the thing is, you know, so I'm going to harp on that, those monthly statistics again a little bit, because, you know, we talk about bias all the time, right? You know, you can buy us long, you buy us short, but I think what may also be just as important, if not more important is what's going on in terms of the market. Are we in a consolidating market or are we in a market that's actually moving in a particular direction? And you can get that sometimes by just looking at what your range for the month is, what your range is for the week, because if you see that your months are really starting to uh, tighten up, well, that tells me that, hey, the market's in this situation right now. Um, it may be consistently going up or consistently going down month over month, but it's telling you that the market has come to an agreement, basically, on price. And so it's not making big swings. Last year at this time, it, to me anyway, what I was seeing or understanding, the market wasn't in agreement as to what price was. So, so you were going and getting huge swings. And so that creates volatility. And volatility, when you're trading, especially when you're, you know, let's face it, we're speculating. You know, that's what we're doing. And volatility is our friend during speculation. As long as you've managed your risk, you know, and you go and put parameters against uh, against that volatility so that you don't get hurt when you take a loss. You don't get hurt to the point where you can't play anymore. But that volatility means that you can make a lot more money uh, during that time, potentially make a lot more money during that time because you get that much more movement. Doesn't mean you can't make more money at, you know, with the current market condition. It just means that there's probably a little bit less opportunity. So what do you do? You just got to go and make sure that you take the opportunities to come across the table and you need to go and make sure that, hey, because we know we're kind of range bound here, we're not range bound in terms of price, but range bound in terms of the amount of pips that will move across a month, go and take your money off the table when it makes sense. Whereas last year, you can actually get away with, you know what, because we're moving so crazy, this is where I'd logically take it off. You know, I'm going to take half my money off the table and take the other half and let's see where this goes you know just take a little bit more risk so to speak because you had that you know you had that flexibility because of that additional volatility that was going on and so we got to. my point of saying all this is we got to go and change you know based on what market condition is yeah you know and you know what? Well, Mo, the fastest 15 minutes in trading is almost over. So there was your monthly uh, open. Um, I hope July was profitable for you. And when you come back 
to your uh, let's come back to trading always remember never forget it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks this is a rumpled one over and out